Hello everyone. Well, we have, like, Welcome to the five o'clock news, the five oh two news. Patrick, can you check your uh, phone? Make sure we're live, please. We have crab mac and cheese. Greetings, everyone. Welcome to the five o'clock news. <clears throat> We're gonna wait for a few friends here to join us. Five o'clock news here at the five o'clock steakhouse. We had a couple of uh, fun treats for everybody today. Here we go. Y'all can see that. Thank you. Uh, if you've tuned in here, this is the five o'clock steakhouse. We're going live. Showcase some steaks and some food here at the restaurant. A little bit about the history first. The five o'clock steakhouse started in 1946, but the building has a history that goes back uh, to early 1900s. The building was built in 1909. Um, it's been a neighborhood tavern. Uh, it was a neighborhood tavern, a bakery for a short period of time, and then it became a neighborhood tavern called the Five O'Clock Club. Serving drinks, sandwiches, um, cocktails here, serving Harley and Miller employees here in the neighborhood. Um, going back literally to the early, you know, since uh, 1916 through 1939. In the late 30s, early 40s, the uh, Five O'Clock Steakhouse, uh, the, the, the Five O'Clock Club, uh, was owned by a German family who sold it to another German family called the Corpers. Corpers transitioned this into a steakhouse in 1946, um, serving, you know, a limited menu of steaks, at that time chicken. Um, a few a couple of years after that, they even offered pizza. Thin crust pizza, New York style thin crust pizza, was a huge rage here in Milwaukee with Sicilian and Italian immigrants. It became very popular and lots of restaurants were trying it. Even here at the five o'clock, yes, there was a thin crust pizza available. Hey Frank, what's up? How are you buddy? Um, thank you, Jerry. Hello, Suzanne. Hey Patrick, Crystal, Carrie, Cody. Hey, what's up, Carrie, Cody? D, what's up? Mark, If uh, sorry you're watching this. If you don't wanna watch it, you can turn off my friend. Thank you so much. Um, but yeah, so it became a steakhouse in 1946. The Corper family uh, owned and operated it. Uh, started with Bill Corper. Bill Corper uh, brought his family into the mix over the years, uh, and his wife, of course, um, up through when my family took over. Uh, the building here is rich in history. Uh, started just with one side of the building. What you see, what most of you know is the bar, and that back area is the original restaurant. And, um, Thank you so much, Debbie Camosi. Good to see you. Lisa, how are you? Your mom's over here working hard. Mike Schrager, what's up, buddy? Uh, so yeah, so we transitioned to steaks. A lot of history here in the restaurant. This is the longest running steakhouse here in Milwaukee. Uh, we're honored to hold that tradition. Uh, we're doing our best here right now to uh, get through this challenging period here in Milwaukee's history. This is historic by, of course, every Every uh, description of the of the term. This is a uh, very challenging history point in history, especially for restaurants and small businesses. Uh, we're doing our best to get through here and stay a positive, uh, optimistic attitude. Um, all my friends in the industry, you know, we're all going through this together. Very supportive of each other, looking out for each other. Um, but you know, we uh, it's tough. And I respect those of you. Hi, Nikki Rosenberg. How are you? Um, it's tough for us because, you know, it's like we're operating with limited uh, resources. Um, thank, we're thankful for what the government has done so far. It's not enough. There's a lot of small businesses still suffering. We encourage everyone to support local businesses here in Milwaukee. We're part of the near west side here, part of the Avenues West neighborhood. Since that build, this building has been built, it's, uh, it's 
like I said, it's been operated. It's been several establishments, uh, mostly taverns, um, operating here. Um, and we're, we're, hope, we're proud to maintain the torch. My family's been maintaining the torch here since 2005. So 15 years here, same location. Next year, the restaurant will be celebrating 75 years. Uh, so during this time here, during this, uh, this shutdown period, we've been do going live every Wednesday and every Friday to showcase some of our talented staff and what they do best and to give insights to our guests and uh, you know, to some things they can do at home, um, ins insights into what we do and who we are. We uh, encourage everyone to stay positive, stay healthy. Um, I'm hearing great news that things are gonna be opening soon, slowly but surely. Uh, I'd be happy if we can get 20, 30 guests in here at a time. Uh, Governor Evers, if you're listening, please get us open here, pal. Uh, get us open. We'll take 20 at a time, 30 at a time, whatever, because we, we, as a city and a community, we need to get going here. Resp responsibly and, of course, with uh, using science and safety. Um, we have wonderful staff today. We're going to be starting off in the kitchen. Uh, Chef Dave is going to be preparing... A steak. We have some uh, specials, and some of those specials include, hi, Samantha Ortiz, how are you? Um, hi, Gina. Um, we're going to be showcasing how to cook some of the steaks. So we have a, you can buy any of our steaks off the menu, uh, 10 bucks off. Let me show you the menu here. So... The, it's called the five o'clock butcher block section of the menu here. All our steaks are available. Ryan, what's up? All our steaks are available, basically 10 bucks off. Includes our signature sauces, spices, and cooking details. So we should mention, all our steaks are from the upper Midwest. Our ribeyes, uh, which is one of our popular cuts here, are sired here in Wisconsin. Up nor north near Portage, if anyone knows where that's at. Um, hey, Sean. Um, we are trying to do our best to stay local. I've, the best steaks in the country. In fact, most people would argue the world. Some people would argue Kobe, whatever. But I believe the best steaks in the world come from the upper Midwest of the United States. Includes Minnesota, Iowa, Nebraska. A little bit into Kansas, but mostly Minnesota, Iowa, Nebraska, Wisconsin, and a little bit in Illinois and Indiana. That's the best steaks in the country. We are buying upper, we are buying a reserve Black Angus, certified Black Angus, DNA, heritage traced. And that is aged minimally 30 days before it gets to our kitchens here. So we're going to go back here and we're going to show you how we do it. Um, Step-by-step -step instructions available. If you buy the steaks, let me show you. You're going to get the 5 o'clock home grilling kit procedure. It's three easy steps. And we provide you the sauces and signature uh, spices. And the signature spices and sauces with the steaks. And three easy steps. So without further ado, we're going to get back into the kitchen. Alex, say hello. Aleko, hola, five o'clock news. Nestor, Mateo, Luis, Jorge, say hello guys. We're here guys, we're doing our best to serve you here, responsibly. Chef Dave, how are you? Good sir, how are you? Excellent. So tell us what we're doing today. Uh, today we're going to review our, our grilling procedures for your at home cooking of our wonderful steaks. Nice. We we'll go through step by step uh, all the things you need to do to recreate the magical steaks we, we make here at Five O'Clock. Yes. So, um, what's so? First of all, I just talked about the quality of steaks. So it's you know you get your best steak that you can, okay, quality wise, in a grocery store. It's not going to be the same as what we get. I mean, we get our, our steaks are aged a minimum of thirty days, right? Yeah, we do that. We have the age, the aging process begins at the, the actual facility before it even reaches us. And then. We hold them here an extra week or so before they're even yep. grilled. So most of these steaks are, would you say, an average of 35, close to 40 days, right? Yeah, three, definitely at, at a minimum of uh, three to four weeks. So the enzymes and the proteins break down. Um, it's, in, a it's a natural tenderization. Natural tenderization. Some people ask, are those marinated? No, they're not marinated. No. 
Um, some people have asked, um, is there like a seasoning inside the steak while they're aging? No, it's natural juice, completely natural procedure. They're sealed in their own juices. Hi, Amy Mitchell, Uncle Tom, how are you? Lori Bruce, how are you? Uh, George, yes, we are accepting gift cards. If you have gift cards, come on down. We appreciate the business. Um, so today, what steak do you want to cook, Dave? Today we're going to cook uh, one of our porterhouses. So you're going to tell us how to cook this bad boy. Uh, what is known as the best of both worlds. Best of both worlds. Why would you say, Dave, it's called the best of both worlds? Uh, I believe it has that name because as the bone splits down the middle, you have your filet and then you have your strip. Yeah. Coming together to make a wonderful steak experience. So we offer a 14 ounce bone and filet. Thank you, Barbara. Thank you, Alan Soriano. Uh, we offer a bone and filet, 14 ounce, that you could get, which is essentially that right there, what you're looking at. That's the filet side of the porterhouse. This is the strip side. That's a that's basically a New York strip right there. Yeah. Some restaurants at our Chicago Prime Steakhouse location, we offer a Kansas City cut, which is essentially the fillet side cut off this porterhouse, but it still has the bone. So when it's aged with the bone, you're gonna get a smoky sweet flavor, wouldn't you say? And through the cooking process, yes. As the, as the bone burns, uh, that that natural smokiness will go into the steak. Awesome. Yeah, it's just, it's a natural flavor enhancer along with that. But fat melting in there. Yeah, the marbleization is, is wonderful on these. So it keeps the it keeps another it's just another layer of uh, texture and uh, of moisture. Uh, Michael Casey, what's up? Stephanie Rosenberg, how are you? So tell us, um, tell us, Dave, what would be the first step here in cooking a porterhouse? Sure. The first step is Maybe. going to be get your chosen cooking vessel, nice and hot. That we're, thing. Uh, we're rocking a 1800 degree broiler. This is a South Bend 1800 degree infrared broiler. Oh, your phone. Yeah, that's yeah, right, yeah. So get that nice and, nice and hot. As hot as possible, you're kind of... Grill, uh, grill's nice and clean, ready to, ready to go. Awesome. Okay, so next thing we want to do is... So that's step one here. Tell us step one. On every steak you guys buy raw, you're getting the five o'clock home grilling kit procedure. So it's right here spelled out for you, but Dave, tell us. Okay, so next thing you want to do is any steak that you get is going to be you know, individually wrapped or cryolacked. So we're going to want to do a little uh, little dab just to get any any excess moisture from the packaging off. With a clean towel, just want to get both sides so dry it off nice. Removing excess moisture. Excess moisture. Yep. What's going to what you want is you want to you want a dry steak to hit the, the really hot grill. Awesome. Hello, shout out to Justin Carlisle. Um, Justin, congrats on. Uh, Congrats on moving those uh, ramen kits. It's phenomenal. Two, three great restaurants, Ardent uh, Red Light Ramen and Laughing Taco. Now you can get those uh, those ramen kits at a few grocery stores local here in town. Make sure you're hitting those up. Those are awesome to take home and cook yourself. So you got the extra moisture off those steaks, and then what happens? Yep. So then the first thing you want to do is grab uh, the first cup. It's going to be labeled S for seasoning. Okay. All right. And that's, and that's right there. there. Mm -hmm. That's our uh, specially blended seasoning salt. That seasoning salt has been the same signature blend since, well, at least for over 20, 30 years. I know that. Just want to apply generously to both sides of the steak. A little seasoning before it goes on the grill. Just a little seasoning both sides. Okay. What's the next step, Dave? All right, so the next step is onto the grill. I'm going to get your grill ready to go here. Put that in the hot spot in the center. Nice smoking. The center of the grill, those of you who know backyard chefs and um, backyard broilers, the center of the grill is the hottest point on that broiler. And I got a little excess flame there. We can always brush that off, Dave, if you want to, right? Okay. Because it's super, super hot. And that's, that's just the, the grade itself that's burning up. Yeah. So the hottest point of the broiler is that middle. Hello, shout out Kevin Art, the Exchange Studio. Um, so you're getting it nice and hot on both sides. You're getting some nice grill marks. You leave it a couple minutes on each side, Dave? Yep, for us, uh, for a steak about this thick, we're going to, for a good, good medium rare, we want to do about, uh, according to the, the instructions, what we want to do is make sure you get a nice mark on each side. Mm -hmm. And then we'll move into the second step, which will be to apply the second cup, which is labeled C for char. That's our secret char seasoning 
once you get your marks, then we want to apply the char seasoning. And then from that point, you can establish the temperature you'd like your steak to be. So you think the weather's supposed to be decent this weekend. This is Mother's Day weekend. Um, people are going to be cooking at home, in and outdoors. I think people are going to be trying to get outdoors, right? A lot of people are trying to get yep, outdoors. Definitely. They're tired of being locked up in their houses. They want to cook something. They want to, you know, come and get our steaks. You know, these are not the quality steaks you get at the grocery store, guys. You can't get these steaks at the grocery store. No. These are that, very that special. Size, these cuts, that size. There's nothing better than you guys between definitely, these. Definitely something special. And then the way we prepare them is another signature thing. There's no steakhouse on the planet that does it the way we do. We're very proud of that, and we maintain this recipes for years. Okay, so we, we flip the steak, we got the nice marks on the first side. Flip the steak, let that go for another minute. Then we'll take that second cup, let it see. I'm gonna use my, my, uh, my larger version. We're gonna very generously apply the char sauce. So we're brushing the signature char basting sauce. We call it like a char basting sauce. It is all natural. People have speculated what the ingredients are. I, I assure you, it's 100% natural. All the ingredients, gluten -free. yeah, gluten-free. Um, there may or may not be salt in there. That's all I can tell you. And water. 50% of that is water. So. Yeah, that's gonna create a nice. Yeah. Then it goes back into the heat. It's gonna create a nice your, your crust, your, your char crust. Yeah. It's so. Texturally. Uh, and yeah, our signature basting sauce literally creates, it, it seals in the juices and the flavor on the steak. Between that, the marbling on the steak, uh, our basting sauce, and the spices now are literally creating a crust, sealing in the flavors and the juices. So David brushed on one side. We're going to go ahead and uh, flip it and brush, brush on the other side. Flip, flip it over. You can see the... Uh Right, and that's still rare, right? You can see that. So people see this at home, right? They look at that outside of the steak and they say, oh my God, my steak's overcooked. But no, it's actually, you see what we're doing here? We're brushing a very dark. Yeah, so those guests who haven't seen this before. Thanks, Uncle Tom. Those guests who haven't seen this before um, should realize that that is a basting sauce that is a dark basting sauce, very lightly brushed on there. Can you hear me better, Uncle Tom? What's up, Eddie? Motley Brew, guys, if you haven't heard them. I think you guys are performing this weekend, Eddie. Is that right? You guys doing a Facebook Live this weekend? I think uh, you guys catch Motley Brew. Extremely entertaining show. Eddie's a phenomenal, phenomenal local musician. We're excited uh, to have him here on our Facebook Live today. So, David, tell, take us back. We're, right, we got so the other side. So at this point, you just want to cook to your desired temperature. I would say right now, we got a solid rarish to medium rare going on. So we can uh, let that cook for one second, then we talk about the next step. What's the next step, Dave? Uh, cup three is going to be labeled A for au jus. Check that out. Step three, you want to heat that up on the side normally, right? Yeah, so while, while that's cooking to your desired temperature, you can go ahead and get a, a nice little saute pan going. Dump your au jus in there and just bring that up to temperature. We have a good amount that we're keeping warm here on a, on a slow burner. So ours is ready to go. Catch Motley Brew 7 p.m. Eddie Martinez's Facebook page or the Motley Brew page. Go ahead. So we heated up the au jus. Yep. What's that's happening? Our, that's our au jus. So we'll keep that, keep that nice and hot. Can we do this on a plate last night? Yeah. So we're going to plate this for you here, guys. Obviously, if you're you know, cooking it at home, you're going to put it on your own plates. But here we're doing these to go until our uh, lovely governor tells us we can, uh, we can do this for you in the dining room. We'll, uh, hold on. All right, so we got our steak here ready to go. Nice medium rare. We're going to take that warm au jus. A little bit on top. Hear that sizzle on the bone. Hear that sizzle there. Nice and smoky. The bone absorbs a lot of heat and okay. it holds a lot of heat. So then, next thing we need to talk about is the final cup. It's going to be F for finish. And that's a mixture of our finishing dust and our Cajun rub. There's a little bit of a Cajun rub in there. And then, as 
well as a little bit of the butter that we use to roast the mushrooms. So we take that butter, get a little thyme leaf in there. So a little we'll bit, a little hint of butter on time there. A little drizzle right on top. For shizzle. Nice, nice buttery finish. A little drizzle for shizzle. Can't take that any further. Sorry. A little Cajun rub on top. Cajun rub on top. You got the butter, and what's the last thing we add to the plate? And we put all our steaks here, come with five to seven button mushrooms. If you're having them in the dining room, of course, cooking them at home, you're not going to get them like this, but these, all our steaks in the dining room do come with five to seven button mushrooms. And there we go, there you have it. This is our signature five o'clock cut. Anyone want to guess why we call it the five o'clock cut? Whoever, any of you guess this correctly, uh, you'll, you'll get a prize. Can anyone guess why this is called the five o'clock cut? Because the bone on the top of the T or the bottom of the T, depending on how you're looking, and when you flip it upside down, the hands traditionally look like the hand is on the five. Oh, nice. So, so that's what we would call it the five o'clock cut. It's a great steak. The, layer, the layers of flavor from the seasoned salt to the char. Best of both butter. worlds. For the Cajun, a lot of depth of flavor. Um, a little bit more from the kitchen here. Chef Dave, Chef Nestor, Jorge. I the cheesecake. Yeah, yeah. Do you have a che key cheesecake and a key lime back there? Yeah, he's already there. Can I come back and take a look? Sure. For this weekend, for all our mothers and dog mothers, and ooh, look at those awesome crab cakes. It's amazing. Hi, Aunt Kathy. So, you get a whole cheesecake. How many pieces, Jorge? You get 12 pieces? You get 12 pieces to a whole cheesecake, guys. Homemade cheesecake. Homemade cheesecake. Get the whole thing, 25% off. So I think that makes it like, I don't know, it's, it's a little expensive, but it's worth it, guys. Get a whole cheesecake. We'll uh, throw in some strawberries for you and whipped cream. Uh, key lime pie. Do you have a key lime pie ready? Cheesecake or key lime pie available. Two days notice. If you would like either our cheesecake or the key lime pie, you can, we can sell a whole key lime pie or cheesecake. Just give us two days notice. Just let us know by tomorrow. We have that graham cracker crust on there. We use real key lime juice. Sweet condensed milk. Baked off. Really nice. Real Philadelphia cream cheese in the cheesecake. Not imitation. Get it perfectly cooked. Look at that. That is perfectly cooked. That cheesecake. Smooth and creamy, not too sweet. Thank you, Jorge. Jorge is the guy who makes them for you. Thank you, Jorge. Thanks, guys. We'll, uh, we'll talk more on Friday. Right, Dave? Yes, we will. Typically, every Friday, we showcase something in the kitchen. More 5 o'clock culinary adventures. Yes, 5 o'clock culinary adventures. Behind the, behind the stainless steel, that's what we like to say. All right. Getting a bunch of orders here to go. And some wine. We're going to talk about the liquor promotions we got going on. Got a lot of exciting stuff here for Mother's Day weekend. All right, Patrick, how are you? Good. Look at here, what we got here. This is, wow. Let's say hello, Wally. Hello, Wally. <laughs> How's everybody doing tonight? This is Walter Robluski. How are you doing? Everyone's the, the best, best bartender this side of the Milwaukee River. You got it. West side, right? <laughs> Just kidding. How you doing, Wally? Good, good. How are you? So we're uh, we're showcasing something that's going to be uh, featured this for this weekend. Yeah, it's Mother's Day. Uh, Just down today, so yeah, we're gonna make a bellini and a mimosa. So you can go over to Ma's house this weekend. You know, stay outside on the porch and share a mimosa or bellini, or you know, have brunch with your ma. Or surprise her, bring her over to your house. You gotta love this. So we're gonna include some uh, peach slices, yep. some uh, Corbel sparkling California champagne, mm -hmm. some peach juice, simply peach. It's a really solid uh, peach juice if you guys wanna for mixing, and it's great flavor and real natural, good fresh flavor, as well as a simply orange. How would you like that Uh Michael Casey says, "Wally, your beard is escaping your mask." Hey, how about you, everybody? <laughs> Leave a comment. Should I shave it off or uh, leave it on? I'll trim it. How about that? Trim it or shave it off? Leave a comment on the bottom. 
<laughs> Byron Thompson, how are you, my friend? We're here showcasing some of our beverages that are available. So moms want to come and pick up uh, Bellinis and um, mimosas to go this weekend from us. I think it's a, we're doing little kits that make four, I believe. You get about four, yeah. Four drinks. Depends on how heavy you pour. Yeah. Um, each one is $22, Patrick. $22, you get two bottles of the Corbell Brut, uh, a juice, some uh, garnish, depending on what it is. And then, uh, Will you throw in a strawberry too? Oh, you know what? I don't know. It depends. Are, is it, can we throw in a strawberry? All right, sure. Okay, okay. We'll throw in a strawberry. Sure. Okay, great. All right, so um, do you want to show us how to make one of these? We can make or? them from scratch. I got a, uh, I cut up two uh, ripe peaches on. I'm gonna throw them in the food processor I brought from home here. Nancy Finn says shave it off. Uh, leave a comment. <laughs> leave a comment. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, tablespoon of sugar. So you have fresh peaches? Fresh peaches. What we're gonna do is add a teaspoon of... Oh. Leave the pits out. Why lemon? Keep it nice and fresh. It kind of, it, believe it or not, it almost gives it a, a sweetness to it. Like, uh, mm -hmm. um, great. Gives it a freshness. So this is a, uh, you could use uh, any blender, KitchenAid, or uh, KitchenAid, yeah. what's the Ninja, whatever, the bullet, the. This is just a fruit processor I brought. Up. Scotty, Scotty, Scotty. He's on here, Scotty. <laughs> Say hi to Scotty. Take your time, Wally. We're look at this. Wally's going. Oh, Make it from fresh squeezed peach juice. Save me some of that on the side, will you? <laughs> Not that. Awesome. All right, we're just gonna stop it here. Uh, what you're gonna want to do is strain it, like through cheesecloth or some fine strainer. Didn't bring one with me today, so get about put you put about two ounces or of the puree in the bottom of the glass there. Or in in this case, would you say about a half a glass or a half of a six ounce pour, Patrick? Of the well, juice, yeah, you half and half. About 50, 50 with the juice because it's not as thick as the uh, puree. Okay, so the puree is going to be concentrated, yeah. guys. My first day using one of these. Hold on, guys. Oh, well, welcome. Six weeks off. Yeah, while well, it's getting rusty, guys, get yeah. us get us open while he needs more practice. Open us up. Let's yeah. go. All right. So the concept of it's about the Bellini, and it, you know, it's just having a fresh citrus, uh, peach uh, flavor to sparkling wine. Uh, Gives it a freshness. You know, peaches are in season for a little while, so it is a little seasonal. Um, we're lucky enough to get them pretty much all year round in uh, the grocery stores, but yeah, it gives it a nice freshness. You stir it up with us. With a spoon. Wonderful. What if you don't have champagne flutes at home, Molly? You know, a pint glass works really well, too. Yeah. <laughs> Make big ones. <laughs> yeah. Make big ones. Debbie, do you want to try Debbie. Any there you go. Any wine glass. There you go. Debbie, you going to drink a Bellini? Happy Mother's Day week. Thank you. Cheers to everybody. Happy yes. Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day. Yeah. Mother's Day, and, and, and there's a lot of uh, mothers to dogs, and... Fur to fur babies, right? Fur babies. A lot of mothers to fur babies out there. Mimosa, pretty much simple recipe. Half orange juice, half champagne. Just equal parts. Awesome. And enjoy. Throw a garnish in there. Orange slice or oh, peach or oranges are looking fantastic. Look at that guys. That's looking awesome. Cool. Five o'clock steakhouse.com is our website. Um Five o'clock steakhouse sign on obviously here on Facebook. If you're um, interested in picking these up, um, just let us know. Come on out, come on over. We can sell them any day now. Um, if you're interested in key lime pie or cheesecake, 
please give us two days advance notice. We have several orders already. We just want to stay ahead. Um, we are not open on Mother's Day, but we want to come have everyone get be prepared. Yeah, come on up. Mother's Day is this weekend, guys. For everybody that forgot or doesn't know, <laughs> <laughs> if a word of warning. All right, great. Um, we have some other features. Patrick, you want to tell us about some of the other features we have going on? Sure, there's some half price bottles of wine. Kendall Jackson Chardonnay. Can you hold that up for me? Yep, fantastic. Kendall Jackson, getting those reserved that's our half price are we 36 on our list eighteen dollars can't beat that if you guys are grabbing food from people are grabbing food from here i mean you might as well grab a bottle of this decent price right duck horn napa valley merlot oh that's one of the most legendary merlots that ever came out of california 30, 36 dollars you get it with your meal right probably i don't know if you can buy it in a wine store for that price yeah no you can't actually you can't if you can find it in the wine store true and if you're looking for a cab for $29 Franciscan California Cabernet. Yeah. The... It's actually uh, sort of a limited, I'm not going to say allocated, but it's very limited production. Um, there's a, only a little bit of fruit that comes out of that area and for the Franciscan winery. And um, so that's a good price, really good price. So we have some half price wines. We got the mimosas, we got the Bellinis. We got Wally here, ready to serve you. If you're here, come on and get a, come, on come on over right now. We'll get some food to go. Yeah. And guys, we don't care if you're. We want you to support local businesses, but you know, come and get garlic bread and a six pack of beer. We're offering six packs for twelve dollars. Yeah, match. twelve dollars. Any any beer you want, six pack of beer. Um, come and support us. Crab order calamari. We uh, do you, can I get the menu, Debbie? The uh, party on your porch menu. We have a wonderful selection of uh, you get some ribs and some shrimp combo on a plate. Um, you can get uh, a little filet, a little crab cake, and some shrimp as well. Um, well, you got a nice uh, fruit drink for a diabetic. A fruit drink for a diabetic. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> Non-alcoholic fruit drink for a diabetic. So this is our party on your porch menu. This features... You know, some shareable appetizers, some family-style sides that are great. We have sandwiches. We have a Greek-style pork chop sandwich, $16. We have a prime rib French dip, which is made with our actual prime rib. If anyone here has had our prime rib, you understand. This is absolutely outstanding. Um, we have the New York strip sandwich. Thanks, Wally. Which is literally our New York strip sandwich cut in half. Right, Patrick? Just cut it right in half. Same New York strip that it's cooked the same way. Dining. Yep, it's phenomenal. Cooked to a medium or plus. Um, and uh, served with mozzarella cheese and grilled onions. Uh, say hi to Aunt Georgia, Wally. Georgia, I love you, Georgia. Patrick, say I love you, Georgia. Hi, Georgia, I love you. See you soon. We love you, Georgia. Debbie, say hi. Hi, Georgia. You, Georgia, say hello. Are you and, uh, Georgia and Debbie matching today? Yeah, yeah. Georgia, are you and Debbie matching? I swear to God, I was going to wear that today. I just had it on and I changed my shirt. <laughs> um, so our party on your porch menu has the combinations, has the raw steaks. The raw steaks don't come with the salad or the mushrooms, but you're getting $10 off. You're getting our signature sauces, spices, and cooking instructions to make this a successful steak cookout in your backyard. The whole point of this is for you to enjoy this on your back, in the backyard, on your porch, with your family, those of you that you're close to. Uh, Yanis, Tikanis, um, please come by and uh, support a local independent steakhouse that has been thriving and surviving since 1946. The five o'clock steakhouse is proud to still be operating and rolling and doing the best we can to survive this this crazy world we're in today. We thank all of our supporters. Marcus Brooks, please send an old fashioned down to Texas. Sir, absolutely would love to. Absolutely would love to. Um, Suzanne, thank you Suzanne for your support. Thank you to all our regulars, right Wally? Thank We've, you very much. We appreciate all the support you've given us throughout the years. Yes, and during this time, guys, we're surviving, we're doing our best. It's been really tough, not gonna lie. Right, Patrick? It's yeah, been a rough ride. It's been, uh, yeah, it's been we, brought, we brought back uh, 
you know, as many employees as we can. We added hours to our existing employees with hopes that we'd get some more business here. We're trying, but it's been it's been a tough ride, guys. But we're proud to be proud to be alive, proud to be kicking. And uh, Patrick, what's up, buddy? Good to see you. There's another Patrick. Sorry. <laughs> There's another Patrick. <laughs> Patrick, Patrick, the Cubs fan. Let's just say that. Okay, yeah, Patrick, yeah, the Cubs fan. Not it's not you. <laughs> Patrick, meet Patrick. Yeah. There's my Patrick over here, right? Good, good, good dudes. Uh, so thank you much. Thank you very much for everyone who's tuned in. We have uh, other specials. Make sure you keep an eye on our Facebook page. Five o'clock steakhouse spelled out. We got lots of great deals. Um, Debbie's here, ready to answer phones. Got lots of food being picked up. We, uh, Crystal, where's Crystal? Okay. So, five, so big shout out to Crystal here. Is working hard tonight, ready to take your orders. We appreciate everything, guys. Thank you so much. Uh, we are grateful. I know steak is not the uh, number one thing on people's minds for to go, but we do have options. We got crab cakes. We got our these sandwiches, we got these combinations here, as I mentioned. Um, Crystal, you want to come and say hi? These combinations, say hi. half slab of ribs and a pork chop, you can't beat that. 30 bucks with fries and coleslaw. You got a petite steak and cake, which is a four ounce filet medallion and a crab cake. You got the combination filet medallion, uh, two fried shrimp and crab cake. You got Crystal here, ready to serve you. Hi, Crystal. Hello, everyone. Crystal is here uh, representing ready to rock and roll with your orders today so yeah so we appreciate the support been here since 1946 we can we look forward to serving you through this and on the other side so we'll catch you guys uh soon uh please take advantage of these opportunities come and uh, say hi grab a six pack of beer grab a half price bottle of wine come say hi to wally tonight if you're around debbie's here we can wave at you we can just yeah. beep your horn if you're you're being careful. Just beep your horn from far away. Yeah. Whatever you want to do. We appreciate the support. Uh, helps, guys. God bless you all. Stay healthy. Stay safe. Patrick, anything else you want to share? No, nope, look forward to seeing everybody inside here soon. But in the meantime, we love uh, seeing people outside front, bringing them out curbside steaks. That's it. Wally, anything else you'd like to share? Let's open it up pretty soon. Like Stelio said, let's have 20, 30 people at a time. We can do this. I know we can get through this. Yeah. Thank you, Wally. All right, guys. Take care. You have a wonderful evening. Tune in Friday. Tune in Friday when Dave's going to be doing some more uh, artistry in the kitchen. Hello, Lindsay. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, tune in again Friday at 5 o'clock for the 5 o'clock uh, here at the 5 o'clock Steakhouse. Cheers, guys. God bless everyone. We love you.